like it's like the rapper's son though like you expect them niggas to like have sons or especially if they start saying they rap you like oh that nigga must be nice because his pops is nice or whatever but he has to have some type of music talent and like sometimes they, they just be trash sometimes. i feel like they don't really be going that hard first of all because you'll see like okay like run dmc his son jojo oh, yeah. like he was just on the reality oh, show. he was on the reality <laughs> show talking about it and like we seen him go into the studio or whatever but we ain't hear no albums no nothing and his dad is run dmc see, so how expectations see that we be having how you not have at least something i mean with diggy Diggy, Diggy, Diggy did his thing. Diggy, Diggy did his did thing. But where he at now? Diggy like, had beef with J. Cole, so. <laughs> <laughs> Like his first stuff, like he was really on some like, like he was dead ass rapping. Mm. Like he was on some Lupe kick push. That's a and fact. And after that, he was on. That he way. went to some mm -hmm. some other shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He just switched up his style. He's swaggy, like. Yeah, he's swaggy now. He, like, really, he, he ain't on Kanye yeah. shit, like. So, can rappers' sons rap? Like, Y'all think that's some cool? I think song. anybody can rap, whether you. But are they good? Like can rappers? I think can rappers like have so high expectations for them? It depends on like you know like I was like with sports like LeBron James son, you expect that nigga to be nice. Oh yeah, LeBron James. So he is like, nice though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so he's he's nice for, he nice for Michael Jordan's son. Is nice though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Both of Michael Jordan's sons went D one. He said he's alright. Ooh, LeBron, LeBron James. Yeah, LeBron James. He's nice for a little bit. Yeah, he's nice for a little but that's nice for an 11 year old. I never seen I want to see what he looked like when he 18. But I think personally though, the um, you know, they don't have to go through the same struggle, you know what I'm saying? Not not only that, I feel like they then the motivation isn't the same, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like, oh yeah, my pops did that so I can do it too. Maybe it's just a phase or a fun thing, you know what I'm saying? But their their fathers or, or the, you know what I'm saying, the ones that came before them, they was in the street. They had to, you know, hustle and go hard and this not, was a not passion. All, not, not all of them, them but I'm saying for the most part. Diggy and and and, jo and uh what's his name? Jojo? Mm -hmm. They comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna tell right, you like right. this. I'm gonna tell you like this though. Like I think if you if the if you if your dad was really, really good, it's hard to make it in the hip hop industry, the same way it is in the basketball industry. Cause I mean, Kobe Bryant's pops played in the NBA, but Kobe Bryant's pops wasn't as good as Kobe. He didn't have, he didn't set that bar that high. So Kobe didn't have to say, well shit, I gotta go in the NBA and I gotta be an all-star. You know what I'm saying? Like Kobe came behind his pops just knowing that he wanted to be the best. He didn't, he didn't have to have all the expectations. It just was like, well, he made the NBA just like his pop. Same thing with Steph Curry. Like, Steph Curry pops was nice. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. Like, Dale Curry was, was nice. Like, a three-point, like, specialist. But he ain't shooting no threes like Steph. You know what I'm saying? But then Seth came in the league and see Seth expectations. Problem, exactly. Seth expectations is where Steph it. is at. But this is not yeah, basketball. Yeah. Like, but I'm, I'm comparing this, is, this. It's not even, you can't even compare it because basketball is like, you can literally be trained to be a good basketball player, I think. You can you can train. You can train. You can no, train like, I feel like See, you have to have the passion. You have to have. You know, nah, it's a lot of niggas. A little, like, it's a lot of niggas with passion for rap, and they should try it. Like we meet them all, all the time. <laughs> but exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. With their sons, there's no reason for them to be trash. Ah, because they're dads. Like they they ah, have to have passion. What I'm saying is, I think what it is is a lot of times because some of these guys, the bar is set so high for them, they try to be that instead of saying, okay, I put my first tape out, five thousand, five thousand plays. Right? Okay, I put my next tape out. Let me double it. Let me triple it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of saying, let's let's gradually make it to the top like my pops did, 
and they mind they thinking, okay, T.I. is my pops, this shit better bang. Yeah. And they thinking that they have to be, same thing with Romeo. He thinking, P was my pops. You know what I'm saying? 70 million records sold. I got to do the same thing. I think I think that's the problem. I don't think it's that they don't have the passion, because I know niggas all the time that's very passionate about their art, but these niggas is trying to reach too high, too fast. Like, mm-hmm. you gotta crawl before you can walk. And I think a lot of these cats, their expectations is not the roof. Cause like I said, we meet niggas all the time. They real passionate about what they doing, but they don't have no direction. They got a vision and no direction. So their whole thing is- All direction with no vision. Yeah, all direction with no vision. So they whole thing is, we gonna put these records out, but we don't know how to get them to the people, or we're not willing to wait until the people get them.